the substantive motion on the floor is for Terebo district. Districts have been created. Right Honorable Moruno Soro here, on behalf of the people of our districts, I vote yes. Municipalities have been annexed. <coughs> Cities pronounced. As I wait for Kassese Industrial and Mineral City, Madam Speaker, allow me to vote yes. And other local government units established. There may have been disagreements in the process. I vote no. But this has been part of the many years of the decentralization policy rolled out way back in 1997 under the Local Government Act of 1997. That has since undergone four amendments. The policy inherently decentralized service delivery institutions and their governance in order to improve access to services for the rural poor. 30 years later, it is about time to have this policy reviewed. A policy which started in 1992, October. Really, it's time to see whether we are still on track, whether mm. things we need to straighten and so on, and to tighten, including tightening, monitoring and evaluation of our performance as a local government. Effective operationalization of the recently created cities from across various regions of the country is top among the amendments. We have only the saying that cities are the equivalence of the district, but they also need their own structures. They need their statutory bodies like city service commission, city land boards and so on. So we are bringing them in the local government act by amending that act. Uganda is currently home to 135 districts, 10 cities, one capital city, and 31 municipalities. Others are 1,496 sub-counties, 25 city divisions, 89 municipal divisions, and 580 town councils. Yes, we are in this process. We shall consult. We shall reach out to the local government associations and the local governments and the population so that in case you feel there's something to improve, to straighten in the local government act, I've informed you we are already in that process. It is hoped that by the end of March 2023, the country will have a revised decentralization policy that will address inadequate local financial resources and the over-reliance on conditional central government grants inability to attract and retain sufficient trained and experienced staff, corruption, nepotism, and elite capture. The framework for the operationalization of cities, good enough, we had already proposed a regulation. So we have brought it on board in the Local Government Act Amendment, um, but even the other uh, aspects, we shall do them. And then to make sure that PDM itself um, gets more uh, strengthening in terms of the legal framework for local government. Decentralization was rolled out as a democratic reform which sought to transfer political, administrative, financial and planning authority from centered local governments by promoting popular participation, empower local people to make their own decisions and enhance accountability. Henry Okrut.